हेलो एवरी वन तो इन दिस वीडियो वी विल सी हाउ टू कनेक्ट मल्टीपल नेटवर्क यूजिंग राउटिंग इन्फॉर्मेशन प्रोटोकॉल विच विल बी हेल्पिंग टू डाइवर्ट द पैकेट फ्रॉम वन नेटवर्क टू अनदर नेटवर्क सो दिस विल बी द फाइनल सीनोरियो वेर देर विल बी वन राउटर अंडर विच नंबर ऑफ पीसीज आर कनेक्टेड देन देर विल बी अनदर राउटर अंडर विच मल्टीपल पीसीज आर कनेक्टेड सो दीज आर द टू नेटवर्क टू डिफरेंट नेटवर्क एंड इफ दीज टू राउटर्स आर कनेक्टेड टू ईच अदर देन देर दैट विल बी द थर्ड नेटवर्क and we are going to send a data from one pc from one network to the another pc from another network through third network okay so we are going to do this with the help of cisco packet tracer <coughs> first of all i am going to uh, select n devices that is number of pcs so here i am going to choose two pcs under one network and two pcs under another network then i am going to select switches two switches one switch for one network another switch for another network then i am going to choose routers so one router for one network and another router for another network now i am going to connect them all so these two are the two different networks the router is nothing but acting as a network service provider who is providing ip addresses uh, to the pieces underlying it okay we will wait for some time as this uh, red flags will turn to green <coughs> till the time we will assign ip addresses to pieces so as this is one network i am going to assign one ip address under this so i am assigning 192.168.1.2 then for this the gateway will be the router so for router 1 i am going to assign ip address as 192.168.1.1 then to the another pc i am going to assign ip address as 1.3 and default gateway will be the router's ip that is 1.1 to the another network i'm going to assign 192.168.2.2 the default gateway will be the next router's ip then again i'm going to assign ip address here as 2.3 and the default gateway will be router number 2's ip address okay that's it now we are going to configure routers okay so for configuring router you have to click on a router then in under the config we have to assign ip address under this gigabit ethernet 0/0/0/1 or 0/3 okay so here we will see if you you have to just hover on the line connecting that router to the switch so towards the router you can see gigabit 0/0/0 is there okay so gigabit 0/0/0 so i am going to assign here ip address of that particular network okay so that is 1.1 and i am going to turn this router on <coughs> okay then again i am going to hover on this line so the gigabit ethernet 0/0/1 will be assigned to this router to so gigabit ethernet 
जीरो स्लैश जीरो स्लैश वन सो हियर आई एम गोइंग टू असाइन थर्ड नेटवर्क आई डी दैट इज सपोज टेन डॉट टेन डॉट टेन डॉट टेन ओके दिस इज डिफरेंट नेटवर्क थर्ड नेटवर्क आई एम टर्निंग इट ऑन सिमिलरली टू दिस राउटर आई एम गोइंग टू असाइन टू आई पी एड्रेस वन इंटरनल आई पी एड्रेस एंड वन आउटसाइड नेटवर्क आई पी एड्रेस फॉर दैट अगेन you have to hover on this so it will be showing gigabit ethernet 0/0/0 for the internal network so you have to assign here ip address as 1 then turn it on then click on 0/0/1 assign ip address 10.20.30.40 and turn it on okay now you can see the green flags are now turn on okay on the both the networks so for simplicity for understanding you can gen write it here as this is your net network 1 this is your network 2 and this will be your network 3 and ip address also you can assign like a network id for the first network is 192.168.1.0 and to this other the network it is 192.168.2.0 this is a network id and for third it is 10.0.0.0 okay and now 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 you can see there are three networks for the first network is this one another network is this one okay and the two networks are getting connected you are using the third network okay so now we have to configure we have to configure the routers with the help of routing information protocol otherwise the packets will not travel from one network to another network because the router must know on which line the packet should be sent so click on a router you will find it here rip under configuration so click on rip it will ask you a network network means network id okay so as it is a first router i am going to assign 192.168.1.0 i am going to add it next and this router is connected to outside network as well so outside network's ip address you can see your network id that is 10.0.0.0 okay so i have added both the networks similarly you have to do it for the second router rip then then just check the two networks 192.168.2.0 add it then the second 10.0.0.0 and add it okay now routing information protocol once you uh, inform the router about to whom it is connected okay internal network outside network then we have to wait for uh, around 30 to 40 seconds so that the uh, routing information protocol is going to uh, this router is going to uh, share its routing table with adjacent router okay so it will take around 30 to 40 seconds so we have to wait for that time and later on we will start sending our packets from one network to another and if it shows successful then it means that uh, whatever configuration we have made these are correct one so click on simulation just wait okay bring them all nearer okay so now i am going to select one packet from this pdu okay and i am going to add it at this pc means i want from this pc packet should travel and it reach it should reach the next networks pc okay so you can find it here 
first icmp protocol will be called because i am going to sending i am going to send packet from one network to another with the help of ip address but packet will be delivered with the help of arp protocol which will be providing mac address okay <coughs> so we will see now just check as it is arp broadcast message it will be sent to uh, different lines connecting that particular device till it is not going outside now just check it has reached next line now just check the one with whom we want to connect it is only going to respond now this just just check rip version 1 is called okay these are different other protocols okay so it is here it is showing uh, the success is not there just because maybe uh, 30 seconds has not not last so we will again try we will delete this and we will try it again okay again select a packet click on suppose this pc and the another one okay and try to send it will first try for the internal network now just check it shows the packet sent successful okay so now you can check now th at the bottom it is showing the status successful means what now packets can reach from one network to another network using rip protocol now you just check if you want to check the details about the icmp arp what they are carrying okay so you can click on them anywhere okay just check icmp at is its network layer protocol it shows information about it so click on that particular layer details so it will provide you details about that layer what that layer has carrying okay so you can uh, read out it so that you will come to know what exactly that particular packet is carrying at that particular layer so then inbound pdu you will find icmp header format okay the type code checksum okay and data and the sequence number okay what they are carrying so in this way you can use rip protocol to configure two networks and send packet from one network to another because if you are using router to connect to two different networks you have to use rip protocol or a static routing protocol to send packet from one network to another where static routing protocol requires manual configuration every time whereas rip protocol it will update its routing table automatically so the and it will be sharing that table with adjacent routers every 30 second so only that is a delay time we have to wait otherwise it will perform uh, very nicely as compared to the static routing protocol so that's all regarding uh, rip protocol uh, for configuring two different networks and connecting them together for sending packet from one network to another network